This is Tim Bryce with my column titled, Where Are the Adults? Since President Trump's inauguration, the news media has been painting a picture of tumultuous times in this country. They claim it is a result of the president's new policies, which are in sharp contrast to the positions of the Obama administration. Frankly, the media and liberal left, which are synonymous, are still sore about losing the election and using tactics to vehemently thwart any action or decision the president makes. Their approach is simple. Their proponents demonstrate, the news media spins the news, and the congressional Democrats try to boycott or filibuster every Trump proposal. They may be able to slow him down, but it is unlikely they will be able to stop him with the Republican Congress in charge. As to the demonstrations, today we see women dressed as female genitalia. Profanity and insults are common during protests, which, by the way, their children are encouraged to do likewise. There are threats of violence to the president, attacks on Trump supporters, human chains blocking traffic, violence, boycotts, etc. They are intolerant, crude, obscene, and act like spoiled children throwing a temper tantrum for not getting their way. Frankly, they are embarrassing. So along comes Donald Trump, someone who is not a community organizer or professional politician, but a no-nonsense businessman who is results-oriented. Mr. Trump's positions on various topics have long been known and articulated on the campaign trail for which he was elected and is now delivering on his promises. By doing so, Mr. Trump is giving liberals and the media a much-deserved spanking. Liberals are not interested in what anyone else has to say. They are angry their party lost and believe the government should be run by mob rule. The country has never been run purely by democracy, not even during the days of the Obama administration. For some reason, the concept of a republic eludes them. Whenever they are confronted, they claim Mr. Trump's position is unconstitutional, such as when he temporarily suspended immigration of refugees from seven Middle Eastern countries. The left immediately claimed it was unconstitutional. If you check the Constitution and Bill of Rights, you find virtually nothing about immigration. This means the left has no problem spreading falsehoods, such as labeling the executive order as anti-Muslim, which is simply not so. The left also claims illegal immigration is a right. Wrong. It is a privilege to lawfully immigrate to this country, certainly not a right. The spread of such misconceptions are aimed at confusing the American public. There is also a double standard being implemented. For example, Bill Clinton's description of illegal immigration in his 1995 State of the Union speech sounds remarkably similar to Mr. Trump's position, yet the left conveniently overlooks this fact. Democrat mayors of sanctuary cities claim they will perpetuate the concept even without federal funding. Most Americans are perplexed by this as they do not understand why these mayors want to protect criminals and not their citizens. Let's see what happens when the money runs out. In Congress, Democrats are stonewalling cabinet nominations, but there is little they can do to actually stop it. They will try to perpetuate their obstructionist tactics and in the process lose their chance to work with Republicans to make a better country. As to the press, Mr. Trump is correct when he says how the media treats people in other industries, such as business and technology, is substantially different than the political press. The news media is certainly not supportive of the president's policies and smears him at every opportunity. Unlike his predecessors, though, Mr. Trump is willing to fight back, which angers the media further. All of the left's tactics are designed to put Mr. Trump on the defensive, thereby slowing him down. These are nothing more than smoke screens to try and distort and discredit what Mr. Trump is doing. Make no mistake, though, what we are witnessing is just the tip of the iceberg. The left's resistance will likely continue throughout Mr. Trump's four-year term. As long as he remains cool under pressure, the silent majority will recognize what is going on, and the left will again lose during the next electoral cycle. The Democrats suffered through the 2016 election rife with political corruption and backstabbing. They are in desperate need for some house cleaning and new leadership to improve their image, political ethics, and win back voters. This means a new way of thinking, cleaning up their conduct, and a change of tactics. As long as the liberals remain in charge, this will never happen. But at some point, they will inevitably lose control of the party. Only then will a metamorphosis occur, transforming the party and creating a new one for the liberals to exclusively support. 
Bottom line, the Democrats sorely need an adult to take charge of the party. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce of Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbrice.com.